Hello friends, today we will continue the speed painting Zombicide series with the workers. There are too many of them, so I will only paint half of them in this batch. I have mounted the minis on the holders and primed them in black. I want to achieve something similar to the artwork in the book. But at the same time I want to make these easily distinguishable from the other aliens that I have already painted. So, for the main tone I decided to use the coal black paint from P3. It is a very dark, greenish slash bluish. For the highlights I will add some bone color and I will paint the head mostly in the pure bright bone color as well. We will paint the skin using the zenithal highlight method. The first layer is pure coal black and I am spraying it also from the angles, catching also the chest, the legs, leaving black undercoat only in the most recessed places. Right, it is time to compare the skin so far with the other baddies. Looks good so far, it, ne it is neither green nor blue, and I can add more highlights and still tell the workers apart from the other guys. For the second highlight layer, I decided to add bleach bone to the coal black. Adding yellowish bleached bone I hoped to push the tone more to the green rather than blue. However, that did not work as good as I hoped it would, but well. This time I spray the paint uh, in a more narrow zenithal fashion, mostly from the top. Next I loaded pure bleached bone into the brush and sprayed hats, tentacles and hands in this color. This will be a base color for the head and also an underlying light color for the pink. I am taking the airbrush closer to the mini to have more control, but quite a lot of overspray will happen anyway. I am not too worried about it, even the artwork shows uh, white and purple tones on the chest and on, and on the neck. To pick up the details more, uh, I then did a very quick and very heavy dry brush using the wraith bone um, over the parts uh, that were previously bleached bone. And now for my favorite pinkish purple, almost magenta paint. This is the old warlock purple from GW. I'm painting hats and tentacles, trying to be as neat as possible doing some intentional overspray on the forearms to create some darker purple tones. And here are the workers pinkified. Again, you can see quite a bit of overspray on the chests, sometimes even on the legs. But it is good enough for me and this is a speed paint. After laying down the base colors it is time for washes. I prepared two. A mix of flesh wash and crimson and violet. Pretty much like in the previous Xeno episodes. This time however I did not find much value of using both on a single mini. So I experimented with both. Um, I washed some minis with violet and some with my mix. I applied the wash on the hands, tentacles, spine, armpits, and some other places. In the end, the difference between the violet and the mix washed minis is not very stark, as you can see here. The guy on the left was done in violet and the one on the right um, was done with a more reddish wash. The bases I again sprayed first with black and then I sprayed the rims with Vallejo Hull Red. It is a nice warm reddish brown color. Ok, now we are almost done and you can stop here and have a nice tabletop quality minis. But we can take it one or two more steps further very quickly. So, first, I again dry brushed the hats with a wraith bone, 
to bring back the details that were obscured with the washes. Then I painted in the eyes, first the white dot over the eye, and then cyan blue over it, and it's done. Alright, the workers are finished, I'll just put a quick layer of varnish over them. And here is how they compare to the other two aliens. They do kinda look similar to the hunters, but thankfully the scalps are quite different. And you can still see uh, some of the more greenish hues on the workers. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time when we will paint some more heroes from the box. In the meantime, you can check out this tutorial right here on painting the Minotaur from Mythic Battles Pantheon in a zombie-like skin.